I just thought of something, and this changes everything. Cells multiply by splitting apart. So one cell becomes two cells, becomes four cells, on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and to the billions, the trillions, the gazillions, the buzzil, trill, gazil, billion, on and on and on. It just never stops. Cells just keep multiplying and creating more cells. This must mean, this can only mean, that everything that is, everything that ever was, everything that is, everything that ever will be, began with one single cell. So many eons ago, there was this one cell just floating in the ether somewhere, and it split into two, split into four, blah, blah, blah. And that was the origin of everything. That was the origin of us. That was the origin of the universe, the galaxy, the multiverse. And that means it must have been the origin of God, too. So if everything started with just this one single atom, or one single cell, I'm sorry, one single cell that split and split and split, that means we're all connected. Everything is a part of everything. The, then it must have been an intelligent cell. That first cell must have had an intelligence to it. So it knew it would become, it knew what to create and what to become because it didn't just stay that one cell, whatever that cell was, that just cell, cell, whatever, it didn't remain that. It became the grass that grows. It became the tree that's growing in my yard. It became this smucker sugar-free jelly. It became this butter. It became this toaster. It became this hat I'm wearing. It became everything. It became everybody. This means we truly are one, and it means truly that God is everywhere. Just like I wrote in the movie Butt Crack for Preacher Man Bob to say in that scene he does where he's talking about God is everywhere, God is everything, that this God is in everything, and he is, and we're all God too, because we, became, we are all from that single cell that also was the single cell that created God, created the camera I'm using it. So we're all connected through that one single cell. How many years ago was that? Kind of makes you think about time in general. And why do we age? If, we, if that cell just keeps multiplying and multiplying, how does it know what to multiply as? How does it know that there needs to be a bird flying by? That, that single cell became that that bird I'm looking at outside my window. Hmm. God is in the flowers. God is in the sky. God is in trident sugarless gum. God is in Pepsi everywhere. Is he in urine? God is here. That is in the sand at the beach.